The promotion-winning Cardiff City players get a great welcome from yet another bumper Ninian Park crowd. Further proof, if it is needed, that Rick Wright has awakened this sleeping giant. Attendances have gone up from an average of 2,900 two seasons ago to more than 8,000 this season. Last season's increase of 110%, followed by another of 30% this term, the best in the country. Now Rick Wright is looking for financial help to take the club through the second division next season. A carnival atmosphere certainly, but first of all though, Cardiff will be looking to end the season as third division champions. No letter for the Bluebirds today, then they're looking for three more points. Top scorer Carl Dale returns after injury to replace the suspended Phil Stant. And Kevin Ratcliffe has shaken off a hamstring injury to take his place in the starting lineup. Shrewsbury looking for points too. They can still make the playoffs. They're without their first choice central defenders, Mark Williams and Dean Spink, because of suspension. So manager John Bond has had to rearrange his defence. Welsh under-21 international Carl Griffiths is their main strike weapon. 30 goals this season, including a hat-trick in his side's 3-2 win at Gay Meadow. And today's referee, Mr Mike Reed from Birmingham. So it's Cardiff City then in their normal blue strip who get this game underway, defending a quite superb home record, just one defeat in the league to Wrexham that was just before Christmas. Shrewsbury a pretty good away side as well, though. They've been beaten just six times away from home. If they'd won more matches away from home, then they too might well have been in the automatic promotion position. As it is, they're battling for a playoff place. They can still make it. They're eighth at the moment, just one position outside the zone. But they're one point behind seventh place, Berry, but with the game in hand. Plenty for them to play for there. Edwards, the kick upfield. But it's Paul Ramsey, the Cardiff City ski skipper. Nice ball, finds Carl Day. Nick Richardson making the run for him down the right. Here goes Richardson. Lynch, the skipper, comes across. Brazil, nice touch to James. Griffith breaks for Ramsey. Good try. So within the first minute, then, Cardiff City get their first strike on goal. Skipper Paul Ramsey it was, hitting the ball well. Just the question may be there of a slight deflection, but well held by Paul Edwards. Blake. Ramsey into Brazil, looking for the one-two. Cohen Griffith, two, going for it. Prevents the ball from going out. Good battling play there by the 30-year-olds. Had such a good end to the season, despite a number of injury problems. So, it's a free kick then, given to Cardiff City and Nick Richardson to take it. Perry five up at the near post. In toward Perry, leaves it for Griffith, just wide. So a chance there then for Cohen Griffith to extend his recent run. Three goals he scored in the last six games. A good dummy by Jason Perry on the near post, leaving it to Griffith, giving him the chance to get a clear header, but couldn't get the ball on target. Kevin Rutcliffe then with the free kick for Cardiff City. Down the line for Blake. Gets the opportunity, can go to the byline, in towards Dale. Cleared away though for the corner there, by Mark Blake. First corner of the game then from Nathan Blake's perseverance. So it'll be Nick Richardson who goes over to the left-hand side of the field to hit this in-swinger. Taken short though to Damon Searle, plenty of time to measure his cross. Header by Brazil. So Cardiff City creating the chances then. Derek Brazil yet to score for them. Got well there to the centre, but uh, didn't get over the ball. It went high over the bar. Good positioning, though, by the number four. Under pressure, got in his header, but he glanced over the bar. Dale picks up Ramsey again. Wanted Nathan Blake to go on it, but Park gets it back to keeper Edwards. And again, Shrewsbury caught offside. Taken quickly by Ratcliffe to Robbie James. Again for Cohen Griffith. Turner wears number nine, but is playing centre half. Brazil again with a shot. They well have been going wide, but Paul Edwards went down just in case anyway.
Derek Brazil pushing up well in support of his attack, getting in the shot, but no great power on it. Perry staying up there. And Searle hits it into Richardson. And Ratcliffe Square, but that's a loose ball. Good battling, though, by Cohen Griffith into Richardson. Not to stretch for that one, though. Still, Jason Perry staying up with the attack. And he wins another corner. So, Jason Perry spending as much time at the moment up in attack as he is back in defence. Nick Richardson then with another corner for Cardiff City. Derek Brazil at the far post. Not a good one though, headed away by Lynch, but back to Richardson. Time, plenty of time to measure another cross. Brazil just gets a flick to it, Blake. Ratcliffe, another corner. What a good drive that was by Kevin Ratcliffe. Celebrated the start of his Cardiff City career, of course, by getting a rare goal in their victory up at Carlisle. So near to a second one, good effort. So much pressure then. Richardson towards the near post to Perry. Another corner. Tremendous pressure this on the Shrewsbury defence at the beginning of this game. Just 12 minutes gone. Cardiff City though still looking for their first goal. Blake gets the header. Brazil. So for the third time in the first 12 minutes of this game, Derek Brazil up in support of his attack, almost gives his side the lead. That was a lovely set-piece move. Flicked header into the area. Good header too, but good positioning by keeper Edwards. Shrewsbury then having withstood the early pressure from Cardiff City. Looking to create a first chance of their own. Howard Clark, the right back. Up to Brown, nice header inside, but Rory James will get there first. Ball holding up in the wind. Mark forward again, though, for Worsley. Brown. Nice play here. Clark in again. Brown looking there past Ratcliffe. Ball very tight in that corner for the moment, but Clark, the fullback, comes up. Gets the ball into Smith. All the Shrewsbury players leaving it to each other, though, as Worsley again keeps up the pressure on Cardiff. Brown the cross towards Griffiths. He's dangerous, but James gets it away. Chance for Taylor, challenged by Robbie James. Mark Taylor tries to turn him. Picks up Summerfield. Nice ball in, nice play here. Smith goes for the byline, gets the corner. Nice patient build-up then by Shrewsbury Town. As they put together their first real attack there, and they win their first corner. The linesman on the far side had spotted something. Eddie May, the part of city manager, bellowing out the instructions. Taylor gets the ball into Griffiths, looks for the return pass, picks it up into some space. Nice little jink, good defending though by Ramsey. Shot on target by Brown, the first of the game for Shrewsbury. No danger though to Gavin Ward. Shrewsbury showing, though, they're dangerous on the break. Nice little dummy there. Paul Ramsey maybe shoved off the ball. No, said the referee. But the shot, well saved. Again, Shrewsbury trying to get some width on the attack. Brown back to Clark. In towards Taylor. Tries to turn Richardson. A little short on support for the moment. Summerfield is there for him. Shooting chance for Taylor. Rather wasted, though. Certainly, though, Shrewsbury coming right back into this game. Cohen Griffith. Who kicks, says the referee. Bit of obstruction there by Rob Turner. Again, showing his inexperience in defence, Robbie Turner, wearing number nine, but playing at centre-half. So, Cardiff City then with one of their set-piece moves. Nathan Blake over the ball, Paul Ramsey there too. 
Leaves it for Blake. Chips it in towards the near post. Great goal. Superb goal by Jason Perry. Gives Cardiff City the lead then after 34 and a half minutes of this first half. The centre half coming up so well from the back. The ball hit in towards the near post. That is a superb header. And Jason Perry, who hadn't scored for Cardiff City before this season, celebrates with his third of this term. And that's a very valuable effort indeed. Excellent header by the Wales under-21 defender. And Cardiff City are ahead. Gavin Ward, huge long one again then for Cohen Griffith, beaten to it by Turner. Robbie James, under pressure from Griffiths. First chance for the under-21 Welsh striker to get away. No support though, Perry in with the challenge. Kevin Summerfield. Ken Shrewsbury looking for width. Ward claiming it, Radcliffe heads it out of his hands though. Griffiths had a chance, Summerfield still. Goal, one all. Kevin Summerfield, former Cardiff City player, has equalised for Shrewsbury after 37 minutes of this first half. So some poor defending by Cardiff City. Griffiths had the first effort. It was charged down. Good shot by Summerfield, making it one all. Griffiths, maybe, maybe he thought he should have done better. The ball broke nicely there for Summerfield. And a bit of a deflection, taking it past Garmin Ward. Turner and Griffith. Turner wins that battle again. Nice layoff there by Brown. Chance for Worsley on the right-hand side of the field. Clark, the fullback, steaming outside him. Cuts back inside, space for Griffiths. Cardiff City cannot afford to give this man that sort of space. Good ball played in for him. And the Cardiff City defenders, Jason Perry in particular, too far away from him. Slow on his heels there, Perry. Good chance for Griffiths. Turner beaten that time by Griffith. And that's it. The referee's whistle then goes for half time after almost three minutes of injury time. Two sides going in at the interval at one all. Cardiff City's. Cardiff City took the lead with a goal in 35 minutes through Jason Perry. But Shrewsbury hitting back quickly. Number eight there. Kevin Summerfield getting the equaliser. That's it at the interval then. Cardiff City one, Shrewsbury one. Cardiff City making a change at half time then. Chris Pike coming on for Carl Dale, who was struggling a little in that first half. Cardiff City with seven draws already in 20 home games this season. Chance though for Pike against Turner. Gets the better of him. Chris Pike. Having done the hard work though, Chris Pike couldn't get any power in his shot. Looks heavenwards. Withstood the challenge well there from Robbie Turner. Good play by Pike. No power in his shot though. Two hundred and fifty-three, the Cardiff City crowd, then the biggest of the season. But they're seeing their side struggle a little at the moment. Bad kick by Ward. Here's a great chance for Mick Brown. Surely he'll put Shrewsbury up. Good save by Ward. Redeeming himself there, Gavin Ward. Having made the dreadful error in the first instance. Ward giving the ball away with that kick. Great chance there for Brown. And Ward makes amends. In the meantime, Cardiff City have won another free kick. Kevin Ratcliffe with it. Looking at a couple of options, left and right. Long left for Richardson. Into the box for Pike. In there quickly before Turner. 
Turner makes up for it though with a challenge. Certainly though, Cardiff City creating few chances at the moment. Bobby James in again to Richardson, on to Brazil. Great chance here. Yes, 2-1. Nathan Blake gets the goal that puts Cardiff City ahead once again after 10 minutes of the second half. Nathan Blake then getting his 14th goal of the season. Well-crafted move this. Good play by Derek Brazil. Teasing cross. Blake getting in there. Nathan Blake's 11th in the league this season. What a lovely ball it was in there by Derek Brazil. Blake going in for the ball with Clark. And he will certainly get the credit for that goal. Ratcliffe picks up Perry. Bit of a nothing ball there by Jason Perry. Nobody out wide on the left. So Howard Clark can pump it forward towards Carl Griffiths. Nice bit of control. Good support by Summerfield. Lovely play. Chance for a second goal. Griffiths again getting in on the rebound. As the ball goes for the corner. What a great chance then for Shrewsbury once again to equalise. Lovely play in the middle of the field by them. Kevin Summerfield involved, getting in the shot. Good save by Ward. Griffith in on the rebound, but away for the corner. 20 minutes gone in the second half. Cardiff leading by two goals to one. But Shrewsbury ever dangerous. Brazil to Robbie James. Two against two. Blake with a chance. Looking to take on Clark. Does so. Pike was unmarked at the far post. Went for it himself. So unlucky though, Nathan Blake. Looking to add to his goal earlier in this second half. Maybe he should have uh, passed it to Chris Pike, but uh, great skills here by Blake. Good effort. Keeper well beaten, but in off the post. And again, it's Clark. Down for Brown. Perry underneath it for Cardiff. And finally, it's Robbie James up to Pike. Looking to release Derek Brazil. Only Cohen Griffith up for him at the moment. Needs to go on his own. Derek Brazil does very well. Look, Richardson. Good drive there by Richardson. Nick Richardson. Found expired from Halifax before the start of the season. Getting a rare shooting chance there. Good effort. But wide of the posts. At the end. A few options. Didn't have much support. Had to drive it in. What about effort? Pike. On for Griffith. Under pressure from Blake. The defender does well. Throw to Cardiff City though. <laughs> Don't think anybody would want to go near that dog. Richardson has, though, into space nicely for Brazil. Wins the corner. Steve McKenzie getting back to clear. David Brazil still to get on the score sheet for Cardiff City this season. What a servant he's been, though. Full back, centre back, midfield. Really has done well since joining them from Manchester United. Nicky Richardson. Pike, chance for Ramsey, good shot, second chance, Griffith, good save by the keeper. One of Cardiff City's best attacks then of the second half, quite unlucky not to score. Paul Ramsey getting in a couple of efforts on goal, finally the header, saved though by the keeper. James and Rutcliffe combined, but again it breaks for Shrewsbury. Howard Clark. Forced back in field. Smith, little ball for Griffiths. Some space. What a great chance. Carl Griffiths will feel that he should have scored there. Again, nice build-up by Shrewsbury Town. 
They really have played some nice football this afternoon. Great cheers then here as Paul Miller comes onto the field for Cardiff City. The cheers though are for Kevin Ratcliffe who leaves the field. What a tremendous contribution Kevin Ratcliffe has made to this Cardiff City's promotion season. Paul Miller too has battled back from a broken bone in his foot. There's Cardiff City now with just nine minutes to go. Leading by two goals to one. Need to win both their remaining games. This one and the one against Gunthorpe next Saturday to have a chance of the third division title. And Barnett must slip up in one of their two games if they're to do so. But it's Carl Griffiths again. Picks up Smith. Good header once again by Robbie James. How well he's defended. Chance for Richardson to break. Only Pike and Griffith up, though. Pike makes the run. As Blake goes across to cover him. And Blake defends so well, he actually wins the throw-in as well. Turner down the line. Not a good one, though. Robbie James gets in first. Richardson, though, beaten to it by Taylor. Up to Brown. Summerfield, as ever, in space. Supporting his attacks well, Kevin Summerfield. Gets it back again from Mark Smith. Miller in with the challenge. Griffiths, the one-two again. Drive by McKenzie, well wide. Steve McKenzie, more porky figure these days. But showing he can still hit a ball well. Break into Colin Griffith. Carl Shorey, free kick for Cardiff City. And the fans and the police within a meter or so of the line there. As Cardiff City then look for the goal that will wrap up this victory. Blake into Griffith. No hurry to get the ball across. So. And checking. Griffith. So outside him. Near post cross. Pike. Good chance for Chris Pike. Got himself into a good position there. Nice looking ball played in by Damon Searle after a bit of battling there by Cohen Griffith. Nice first time ball, but Pike just not able to hit the target. No way I would have thought the police. And the stewards between them can prevent a, a crowd invasion here. As Damon Searle hits it forward for Pike. Beaten to it. Another chance for Blake. Hits it short. Again, somebody in the crowd has blown a whistle. The crowd are coming onto the field, but it's not over yet. And Cardiff City are going to have some problems getting this crowd back off the field. Just seconds remaining. The referee picked up the ball. And will leave the field, but this game isn't over yet. As the horses, in fact, do come on. The problems, though, are at the far end, at the Shrewsbury goal. Where the spectators haven't gone back far enough. The stewards and the police trying to get them off the field. Eddie May's Barmy Army. Barmy, they certainly are to hold the game up like this. Off we go again then. Paul Miller just hits the ball wide and handsome anywhere. Edwards cut out though by Robbie James. Lynch with the last chance to plant it forward, but Ramsey cuts it off. Cohen Griffith. Which ball, a good one too there by Miller for fellow sub Chris Pike. He though can't keep the ball in. Just a matter of seconds left then at the end of this game. Cardiff City leading by two goals to one. Down the line for Mick Brown. Into McKenzie. Nice ball into Brown. Still a chance as Summerfield tries to keep up the pressure. Mackenzie 
Good defending, though, by Jason Perry. Putting his body in the way of that shot by Steve McKenzie. And that's it. It's all over. Referee leads the chase off the field. As for the second time, the crowd invade the pitch at the end of this game. The final whistle has now gone, though. Cardiff City, already promoted, win their final home game of the season, beating Shrewsbury to by two goals to one. Jason Perry gave them the lead in the first half. That goal soon cancelled out, though, by Kevin Summerfield. But then it was Nathan Blake who scored the winner in the 10th minute of the second half. Paul Miller, just one of the Cardiff City heroes, as the crowd then come onto the field to salute their heroes. Cardiff City keeping up their challenge for the third division title with this victory, and they must see if Barnett have slipped up.